We've known for some time that identical twins don't always look identical, and doctors haven't really understood how that happens. But now they have some good clues. It's a new field of science called epigenetics, and scientists are excited about what it says about our genetic makeup. Lucy. These toddlers, Lucy and Julia, are identical twins. Their DNA is the same, but what makes them look and act differently are differences to their epigenetic profile. Epigenetics basically refers to a series of chemical and other modifications that regulate how our genes behave. It tells a gene whether to be on or off, turns it up or turns it down. Scientists from the Murdoch Children's Research Institute are studying 250 sets of twins from the Australian Twin Register. They've found that epigenetic markers differ at birth. We've measured the levels of gene activity that these epigenetic marks govern, and we found that they can be quite different at birth, so those differences must have accumulated while these twins were in the womb. Changes in genes are important as it can influence health and even program future health problems. We've just recently shown for the first time that a change in epigenetic profile translates to a change in gene expression. And we all know that changes in gene expression underpin all human disease. So it's potentially quite profound. Even though the girls are identical, their mother says there are lots of differences between them. Physically, one of the girls is larger than the other. Um, one of them has longer hair and curlier hair than the other. And um, they have differences in their sleeping patterns and their eating habits and all those sorts of things as well. Researchers will continue to follow the children to see how the twins and their genetic markers change over time. Sophie Scott, ABC News.